Let us all clap to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A Sunday yagwa. Last Sunday. I told you brethren that God has bestowed it on my heart that we shall smear our souls with an anointing and he told me we should do it from the first service but the purpose of the smearing of the anointing oil it was just pertaining sickness those kind of sicknesses that, that kind of things that come rampantly repeatedly Sicknesses, different things, you know, non clear losses. So, anoint my people before time is too late. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. The reason of this microphone is to get. This word to you. What I don't want, Sagala Guberemo be in Tunga Muntu Aurida, eh? Ear drums are to just sit till one of church. Kangende on Pudidova Gogeranga Winjagala. Bananga Muguri, Hallelujah. Munzi de Mu Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Muguri da Kiria de Teguba Korabubi. Buguba Guko Guri da Burunji Korabot. Nobody and Mabega, Mania Mabega. Tujia tuko kutunule mange ene chache yimpa wemu. Kumanda vila dalanga muribubi. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So katonda baya yogera nafe. When God spoke to us. Netugonde la katonda. And we obeyed God. Netugama ntujia kusiga mafta. And we said we shall smear an anointing oil. Service so se. In the first service. I came here very early. I found the ministers on the pulpit. And we have done it. All of us who have been here have been smeared of the anointing. And we have accepted that nothing has got the authority to touch us. Because we are sealed. As I was teaching in the morning. I had a lot to teach. I have lots and lots of lessons to teach you. Different topics. But because we are to anoint you, we don't want to do what you don't have a, a, an understanding of. You know, I hate doing something that people don't understand. We used to be in a Roman Catholic churches and we were doing things up to now I cannot comprehend. I told you that me, I grew up in Rubaga Cathedral there. I reached a time when I was one of the servants at the pool at the altar. And there are so many things they could do without my understanding. But the father, the reverend fathers could tell me just do whatever I tell you to do. The reverend fathers could tell me just do whatever I tell you to do. The reverend fathers could tell me just do whatever I tell you to do. The reverend fathers could tell me the school was just close to the, uh, to the church. And Friday, Friday, we Friday would have a mass for the children, for the students. Rubaga girls and rubaga boys. Rubaga girls and rubaga boys. We would ask so many questions. But when you ask a lot, they could say this one is a wise acre. They would be. They would be. <laughs> Why did you disturb Namukuru? And the rest of the things. So, we would do a lot of things we did not know. Oh. You would be just like the same. We used to take these bubani candles. So, we would take these bubani so we would take these bubani candles and 
no menya no sala ngoga manindoza kunyumisa smartness ya kerezia nenga toyinza kubitegera you couldn't comprehend what we were really doing that was real bondage kati echo chali chikoli goche nyini usibe e real bondage but when we came to know the lord na ekati we nategera katonda we namanya katonda never allow a pastor to do anything you don't understand okirizanga musumba kola chintu jota tegera ask them Bobuze. Why do we do this? Lwachi kino tuchikola. Why do you do that? Musumba lwachi wano tukola obwe tuti. Up to today there are lots of believers in church who just do for the sake of doing. No lwalero wachali waba endiga mukanisa ngazikola bukozi ngate zibuza lwachi tukola bwe tuti. Whatever we do must be gotten from the word of God. Uliche tukola china kuva wano munyiriri. Because this is the mirror. Kubanga eno yenda biruamu. Amen. Amina. This is our direction. Eno yenda giriro ya faith. Anything done outside of this that is false doctrine that is a lie we can't add on what's not here and we cannot subtract we preach full gospel according to the word of God so because God told us to anoint you and your children we must first teach you something about anointing for those who attended the first service they understood something I believe and I believe that maybe they, they got something they got an understanding about the anointing oil so when I was teaching I was differentiating between, between the anointing oil and the anointing there are two different things but some people mix it you may even be one of them who confuses these two topics the anointing and the anointing oil they are different. I've seen lots of people walking along with their anointing you know, bottles and they call it the anointing of God. This is not the anointing of God. This is the anointing oil. Anointing oil is different from, from the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing oil is physical oil. You can even use it to cook. There are some people who use this purified oil to cook. Although it's expensive, but they use it. This is an anointing oil. It is a physical thing. You cannot receive it in your in your you know in your four face. And then you become so powerful in God. Because you were anointed in his service. And you go out there to win the devil. It may not work. What causes a difference. What brings a difference in our lives. Is the invisible anointing of God. Somebody say amen. It is invisible not seen with your natural eyes but yet it exists much as you, you cannot see the spirit of God but his presence is here today is with us today is empowering us today is healing us today he is doing a great work in us today yet we cannot see him with our eyes but he is everywhere where he is, is invisible God in 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the anointing, the invisible anointing, is as the same as it's as the same as saying the Spirit of God. For it's the anointing that is the Spirit of God who anoints us. That's why Jesus stood in the temple as was beginning with his ministry. And he read in a scroll. And he said, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he hath has anointed me the spirit anoints the spirit of God has anointed me to do this to do that to do this to do that, to do this, and to do that to be able to do what you can do you need the spirit of God to anoint you to be able to perform for you cannot do it on your own so today I wanted you to get a difference. What do we call the anointing oil? When we come to anoint people in their four faces, what, is it, what does it mean? What does it represent? And then when we talk about the anointing of the Holy Spirit, what do you understand? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm teaching on behalf of Harvest Time Ministry. We do things according to how God has revealed to us. We don't do like where you went. Maybe from somewhere where I do things in your own way. You might be having your own bottle moving around with it. Your bishop told you that way. I'm not here to contend with him. That is his own way. But on this pulpit where we earn, I'm here to differentiate that there is a difference between this and the anointing of the Holy Spirit and the anointing oil. Hallelujah. So that's the difference I want you to get before you leave. God spoke to me anoint the people because I want to reserve them I want to spare them from sickness and disease from death from demons from devils from diseases from calamities Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I will show you how it works Amen Amen What does it mean to anoint with oil? Some question whether or not anointing oils are biblical and whether or not we should still use them today. So what does it mean to be anointed and why does the Bible mention the use of oil? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What does it mean? What's the significance of anointing people with the oil? This is what I taught the first service. That anointing people with the oil was significant in the Bible times. In the Old Testament, it represented something. And now in the New Testament, in the Old Testament, in Israel, common they anointed the heads of the kings with oil. 
Amen. Amen. With on the king's four faces. They anointed the prophets. As they were taking up the office of a prophet. They, they anointed uh, priests. And most of the high priests. To consecrate him, to set him apart from the priesthood. To become a high priest. No, a high priest was always one. Those that can Let me begin from the priest. Those of you who are here, you understand me quickly. Children of Israel. They had 12 tribes. They would make up Israel. Even up to today. Israel. Israel. Israel is no comprehend their lineages. Bamani Ebi Kabia Abwe. Bonna. All of them. By Israel. They are Israelites. Bonna by Judah. All of them are Judah. Bonna by Ebulania. All of them are Hebrews. Na Ebuli mu Ebulania mani. Every Hebrew knows. Line His line. Bamani mu Ebava. They know where they come from. I'm not going to go to Baganda style. Na Baganda wano baba we chokura bila kotu deo ndo zaba chitegele de wano. Let us understand it from Baganda style. A Baganda badi nevi katano mubi vidi. Baganda have 52 clans. Nse mfamu chikache fumbe. Yeah, I come from fumbe. Yeah, I come from. Waduwa baba mu chikache kobe. Yeah. Waduwa baba mu chikache nyonyi. Waduwa baba mu chikache nkebuka. Nkebuka. Mweba le nyabe nkebuka. Imagine ye chinyomo. Aba le chinyomo. Mbwa. Nechi nyomo. Ne mbwa. Eh, abaganda nga muli bazibu. Ho ho. Ne dilanke buka. Ne ate na agenda mutoi. Ne dila chinyomo. Anyway, kati abaganda. Na abaganda. Ebikabya bwe 12. They are 12 clans. Bonna bwe basinkana mu bulange. Encounter in bulange. Bachimanyi tuli baganda. They know we are all baganda. Na ebuli bwe bamalo kungana bati. After fellowshiping. No rangirira ku muzinda. They declare on the, on, the, on the microphone. Buli muntu adde mu chikache. Let everyone go back to your own clan. Bobo kirira wali ku bulange mmengo. You go down in the bulange. Wali wo olugudo bali ita kabaka njagala. There is a, 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 a way called kabaka njagala. Buli chikache lina wo omuziro gwacho. Every clan has got it's own corner. Remember, Olugave Kati Gwenomaro oba yite buganda wo na masaza ga saba saja. You call all of them. No ba tuare mengo. You tell them to mengo. Gaba jude kubanga millions of Uganda nyingi. Because there are so many millions of Uganda. No rangi ano gabuli muganda de kumuti gwe. And let's let every muganda go to his own clan. Mudachi kabiri nebo kabaka na kato kabaka tu seda kumuti guako. They go to where they belong. Everyone will know it's his land. Abaganda gives you an image of the Judah. Even today. When you reach Israel. They know they are lineages. For them they know. We are 12 tribes. These 12 tribes. They come from the single father. From behind. His father is called Jacob. I do not have a lot of time to explain. The same way you are here. If you can give me one week. Every minute I have three or four. Every day I teach you for two hours. I can teach you these things and you understand it. Everyone should not, no one could confuse you. Now Israel. Israel. Begin from a man called Abraham. Bible. The Bible says. The Bible says he was in the Kaldites land. The land of where no God was there. They knew their own God. They could serve. It's God because it's God. The Kaldites land. He came and chose only one person. There were so many of them. He chose only one man. He chose only one man. Abraham was part of the people. Abraham was part of the people. He knew there was a God. He was there in heaven. 
Katonda na jarumu. He just came one day. Bible yega mane yebi kurira ibula. Mnyumba ya chitawe. His own father's house. Mubaganda baba samize. His own brothers. Mubajaja baba samize abazimu. Mukama na muga mati ibula. Jagarove munse. I want you to leave this land. Kubange sinza baka tonda abatono. Na yenze jendi katonda ya kuwa. Nze na tonde guru nensi. Nabiyo nabiyo ora ba nze nabikora. Siba katonda. God that you worship. Now I choose you today. Get your wife Sarah. Move in your bed, Abba Samize. Move in your bed, Abba Jemu Bano. Move this people who are in the land. Move this journey. Move to the land. I will show you. Eyo jengendo kutandi kila kegwanga. Egwanga riri intia. Egwanga riri sinza. Egwanga riri manya. Neringa ura. Muba katonda bobe muta. Tade wansuwe chitanda Bible ye gamba Yibula imu nakiriza katonda Nata uri nanga kumukama For the first time He believed That he is the giant God He is the supreme God Above all these other small gods That we worship So he believed him The sword of his wife And his brother Lord And they live they go miles and miles away from the Chaldean country. And they went a long journey. I don't have a lot of time to explain this. But when they reached where they went, there was something I told here. When Abraham saw God, he explained to his father. The father was called Terah. He was the strongest. Namu gamba tata narabie chiroto. Katunda yancha lide chiro. Visited me at night. Era yangambi. He told me. Vemu guangari no. Vemu chitundu chino. Echi judo busamize. Bungende. I should go. Antware jali indaga. Take me where you will show me. Bible ye gamba. Bible says. Katunda tata wat wai Abraham. The father of Abraham. Ne ye ingi zamuru gendo. He continued. He decided to follow Abraham. Mana wangu wau lide chino. What did you hear? Because Abraham, was, he decided to follow this father. And the father of spearheaded the But Abraham was the one who was commanded. Because the father of the father, he should submit. He submitted. By this time, the journey was not for the father. The father had to remain behind. The journey was for the son. The Bible says they moved the wheat. They reached somewhere where they call Lukani. Sikanani, Karani, Kara, Kara. Karani. Ge Karamu, Karani. Karani. Katonda na Tatera. God killed Tera. He killed him there. Why? He wasn't in the vision. He wasn't in God's plan. So God killed him to come out of the plan. Because God's plan was to start, to start a new nation. Starting from Abraham. And he changed his name even. He changed his name even. Everything from Chaldean land. That's why the Bible says Abraham, Abraham, Abraham Nazara Isaac, he begot Isaac. Isaac. Now Isaac Nazara Jacob. begot Jacob. He begins from Abraham. Nazara Isaac. Now he begot Isaac. Isaac Nazara Jacob. Now Isaac begot Jacob. Now the star that is Jacob. The father Abraham. Forget about Taylor. That one is cut off. He began, he began in other land. He gave him Isaac. He gave Jacob. Jacob. Now Jacob. He got 12 children. Now 12 children. They have different tribes. Hallelujah. The line of Judah. 
Eno laimu ya Reubeni Eno laimu ya Yefraimu Eno laimu ya Benjamini Eno laimu ya Gundi Eno laimu ya Simeoni Neno neno laimu kuminabili Mwemu vebi ke kuminabili Yebya isi la ili Bamekaba lina chebategede Okutu karero Ebi kakuminabili Aba isi la ili tebabi ganya Kubula Chovola bateba kiliza baza aramu for anyone to hey, marry them. If you marry in the... Those who are married in the country of Israel, they are coming out of Rwanda. They are coming out of Rwanda. Government of Israel. The government of Israel. The Sassula government of Rwanda is coming out of Israel. They are coming out of Rwanda. Nama wanga nga Ethiopia. Like Ethiopia. Somalia. Somalia. Awa, 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 saidi ya. Awa, Israel, they are coming out of Rwanda. Your blood is contaminated. Excuse us. Bogera neba president. Baba gamba temufa yo. We shall sponsor. We shall support. Ne bagezamo kujamo musayo gwe tabude. They take away the contaminated blood. Because they are following 12 tribes. Baba gobele nebi ke kumi nebi bidi. Bame kaba tegede chengamba. We understand what we are saying. Yeyo najide yo chobate. Katonda inebi ntubi agara bantu bategele. Chichi naze. Chitegeza tu gobele ranji. Dayo wetu lide. So, banabana ba isa hili kumi na ababili. Now the children of Israel. Bulichika. For every clan. Chari chidi no umulimu. He had a also on purpose. Chari chidi na chichi no kora. It had something it had to do. Uruwa bude. Because of time. Nenda kujaye chika. I'm going to just depict two clans. Okay, let me pick two tribes. And get tribes ibiri. Tribe number one. Tribe is so good. That's the tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah. The tribe of Judah. Tribe of Judah. Had a purpose. That a new Adam. The Adam of Mupia. Was to come from Judah. That's why Jesus. Comes from the tribe of Judah. Jesse the father of David. Jesse the. Jesse the father of David. Tata wa 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 Dawudi go baita Jesse. David who redeemed Israel from the hand of Goliath. It was symbolic. Like Jesus redeeming us back. To overcome Goliath Satan. So it needed David to come from the tribe of Judah. Anything to do with redemption. Anything to do with salvation. Was to be done by the tribe of Judah. So when you see what, what David does Destroying the giant Destroying the tormentor It had something to do with redemption Amen He's redeeming Israel So David from the house of Jesse He's coming from the tribe of Judah The tribe of Judah Is the tribe in, in in, re, in a responsibility of redemption. And when you look at the lineage of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 1. As you read going down. The Talk about the family tree of Jesus. When they Jesus ends up in the tribe of Judah. He is a grandson of Jesus. That's the one bringing salvation. That is the symbol clan. Now I'm bringing another. There is another son of Jacob. He was called Levi. He and God anointed him. In the, the, the clan of Levi. All the Levites. They could come the high priests. 
That's why they are called Levites. Abalevi. Abalevi. Whoever was born in that tribe of Levi. He comes anointed from the stars. By the time they are born, they have work. He had to be a priest. He could be a little people. He has to be there for people. The one who could give sacrifices to the one who could give sacrifices that was the lineage of the Levites from Levi. Oh, Levi. Praise God. Amen. But every clan had a purpose. Now, when we see an anointing here in the Old Testament, the anointing was used whenever they could consecrate a king. Number two, secondly, it was frequently used whenever they could consecrate the high priest in the Levite's family. The priests. In other words, the priests. But he's born in the Levite family. Whether he's young or old, priest. so long as he's born from the Levite family, he was called a priest. Now, from that family, whenever high priest died, they used the anointing oil to consecrate one that God was choosing, that God was electing from priest to a high priest. The purpose of the high priest a high priest he could stand he could represent people and the other priests he before the Lord in the Holy of Holies is the one who could give a sacrifice for the sins of people all of you know that the, the, the sanctuary had different parts at the temple. It had a, a holy of holies. That's where I see at this altar. The holy of holy place. They could have a doorway. In other words, a it was called a jiji. No one was allowed to enter there. It was a place of holy of holies. Only one person could enter there. The high priest only. The rest of the, the, the priests could be in the holy place. A holy place. In a holy place. Now the mere men. Mere Israelites. They could be in a courtyard. In the yard. They could be in the yard. When the time came for coming in the presence of the Lord. All of them could come from all over. And they could fill the yard. Now the Levites could sit in the holy place. Now the high priest had to take another level to come out of the rest of the priests. Now to go beyond the curtains. There was a holy of holy place. Now to speak to speak about or to, uh, to speak about all the sins of the people that were whenever God destroyed people whenever the fury of God could raise upon the people this high priest could go it was his responsibility to go and give a sacrifice of to go and repent about all the sins of the millions of people but he could be also, he had to take up a cost to purifying himself. He could not have any wrinkle or and whenever he could enter there they could tie something on him. He could 
put on a lot of things. As a high priest. He goes with the bell. And the covenant box. Which could represent the presence of the Lord. Either when the Lord is about to forgive or before he forgives. He had to be there. He had to do this. He had to shake the bell and shake it. Can you see the covenant box? could have a bell like this. The whole time he could take in the holy of holy place. He had to be shaking the bell. After a very time. It is it would show him. I have not died. I'm here. I have not died. I was there when I had no sin. I was when I had no sin. I entered there when I have repented fully. Whenever I could stop and be in the presence of the Lord, they could fear. Because even the, the servant of the Lord, the high priest might be dead. If he's dead, he will remain with our sins. Hey, we are done. 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 Why? What brought them in the house? God could send evil pestilences. He sends uh, the quickness because of their sins. Now the high priest could run. They could tell him go before the Lord for us. They could go. They could be on trial. If he dies from there, we shall die. If he dies from there, we shall die of people. If he dies, we shall die of Kaumpuri. They had to pray for him that he should be alive. He shall consecrate himself well. He shall have a chengamba. Now, whenever time could pass, he could shake a bit. Because that priest was still there. He repents again. He gives a sacrifice. Then he beats him. By the time he was there, the high priest could come out. He tells them all your sins are forgiven. Everyone could go back to that place. Everyone could go back when the sicknesses are here. It was done by only the high priest. When they could go, the high priest entered there. After 30 minutes, after a hour, no bell sounds. They could say, wow, upon us. Now the Big he could carry this rope and put away that dead carcass. He could just come and throw it away. They get this anointing. They look for another priest. Up to when another priest is there. Hey. You see how the process is going on. One day, today the church is just joking in games. One day, today the church is they are no longer fishing in the lake. They fish on the on the on the surface. surface. That's the church today. But on this season, there would be kind of 
The Lord doesn't hear any You would have died. I did understand something. God me to the anointing oil was used to consecrate. Somebody says setting apart. Chogere Murugano Gancho Kuaula. Kuaula. From one level to another. We have all been blessed. I am a high priest. I must be anointed with oil. That's the Old Testament. So I am a footer number one. The anointing number one was used to consecrate or set apart kings. Number two. Priests. I am a footer. The anointing was used to consecrate or separate the king. The king was just a mere man. He has been begin from Saul. And now Samuel 5. 9 and 10. 9 and 10. Chapter 9 and 10, First Samuel. The Bible says, Bible Bible, that's where we find the story of King Saul. Before he became king, he was a mere person. The Bible says, Bible one day his father's donkeys, they got lost. And then the father Tata. commissions him to go to look for them. So with other, you know, herdsmen, chambermen, workers, the father sends him with all those. They go in the land and the neighboring areas looking for donkeys. But when the, the, the camels got lost, I'm guessing when they had lost hope, everyone, no one could tell. The Bible says, one of the, the, the servants of Saul, you know what? In this place, there is a seer. There is a seer, the prophet of God. If it is there, it is possible we would have gone there and inquire of him. And he shall direct us the way about of the camels. They went to the prophet Samuel. Before they God had talked to Samuel. Told him, I'm going to send here. A man. He looks like this. He's so tall. When you see him, I've chosen him to be a king in Israel. When you see him, arise. Get your, your horn with oil fall upon him. God made the camels to get lost. So, um, he ends up at the seer's place. He had two names. They either called him a prophet or a seer. So they go to a seer. Say, sir, we have taken days looking for my father's donkeys. They got lost. The reason as to why we are here. You are a man of God. You are the seer. Direct us to where they went. That's when Samuel begins. He says you are here for donkeys. But God told me that you are becoming king over his people Israel. Because of time, the Bible says he got hold of his oil. Samuel 10. First verse. He hold of his own. The Bible says. Saul that time Saul. Amen. You read the whole chapter. By the time he went out of the seers. Just look at me whatever. He was By the time he left the seers place. He was so different. Bible says he was no longer a mere man. How many of you just get what I'm saying? So, 
Whenever the anointed is someone, the anointing oil was, was symbolic or was significant to change you, to transform you from a mere person, from an ordinary person to another person. The Bible says, so left the, the seer, so left prophet Samuel when he was a different man. Again, he went back to his father's house. He was a different person already. He never went back to local By the way, I'm to go to the house. He was even told after the house. He was a different person. 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 He was a it is a symbolic. This is symbolic of God is anointing to transform you into another man. Somebody say hallelujah. So the reason as to why we anoint we anoint you to be separated to be consecrated to be set apart you are not a mere man you are not possible demons can't afford you sickness can't afford you poverty can't afford you you are different man anointed of God favored of God somebody say hallelujah I believe today that those people that are going to be anointed by faith they are leaving this ground different people they are leaving this ground healed people they are leaving this ground when debts are paid hallelujah when loans are paid you are leaving this ground a different person in the name of Jesus I talked about priests. Now I'm talking about kings. So the anointing oil was used for them in the Old Testament for kings separating priests from priest to high priest and even the prophets whenever God wanted to make your seer the bigger prophet could anoint or give a mantle to a young prophet this is to make you a special different person but again not it in the physical it is not but the just, anointing itself but just a symbol it represents the invisible anointing of the Holy Ghost now we come to a new testament we don't have a lot of time we talked about our high place. I've sent you today all of you. You can hear the Hebrews. The whole of it. From chapter 1 to chapter 13. It talks about priests. Priesthood. You see how the high priest in the Old Testament is represented by a high priest Jesus Christ in the New Testament. Can you see the Bible? I don't have a lot of time. You don't want to finish. We were so surfaced. We were taught from Monday to Sunday. 
have Bible studies. We would have Bible studies. And after hours we could have Bible schools. The high priest. How does in the New Testament? You don't know that. That's why in the New Testament we are no longer wasting time pouring an anointing on your head with this normal oil that you shall be anointed to be a, a, a minister. Do you know why? There is a high priest. His name is Jesus. He did the work. At the cross of Calvary. The Bible says, the Bible says, when he released his spirit, when he was taken to Calvary, on that time on his dying, the earthquake shook the world, it became dark, and the world shook. That the curtains of the of the people were It broke off. Was tiered. And you have just understood it. God was ending up a season of priests. Yes, Ungagamba. God was saying, Whatever you would see, you have just entered the whole of holy places. In other words, Everyone, each one of you has a mandate, has an access, has an access to come from the to enter the Holy Spirit, to enter the Holy Fleshes, hallelujah. I will not cut and do it to us here. I will not cut and do it to us here. Hallelujah. Stop looking for prophets who lay heads or hands on you. Stop Hallelujah. Just usher into a certain room in your Just church. go in a in a corner. Just go in a Sunday school. Just go in a Sunday school there. Just go in a Sunday school there. Just Sawa munano gwechiro. Atena wa mba zikuba na ukuraba andaba. Sizi kuwa ateze chikechu. Kastanda wa muloko ringa mkubila kumunana. Njiteka wali na njitunia na enzila mbaibuli yangi. Kumamba manya abeche. Sawa munana kwa. Mwesumba, mwesumba. Walua wana chintu chichayu ya. Chita mkundi na chambuka. Omana na abinangari omulambo. Ja, mwesumba. Bati ngamba mfugobera wako. Chamba zinze nzijia chamba zechiro mkafiu. And 
that curtain was mafuta genino ogalina you have the anointing that i have mbanga ngobe mizimu ogisobola i can send demons you can send it bible yega mata bakiriza bana agobange mizimu muri nyaliyange believe i shall send demons in my name saba sumba sisi ni ya pastor sisi ni ya pastors na yaba kiriza na believers na yarokose musavise ya kiriza nyali ya yesu accepted jesus bible yega bible says na buli alikore nya we shall call upon the name We go kwesa bila. Learn to call upon the name. You go kunganya family yo. Learn to collect your family. Nambe you go kunganya family yo. To correct your family in fellowship. Totianga mizimu. Never fail, never fear devil. Totianga setani. Never fear Satan. Kama kwa mkatotia. Never fear. Kama neighbor rekira wote mizimu. Every neighbor stop fearing them. Rekira wote ndwande. Kodamu kutia misambwa. Never fear misambwa. Yakuo buinza na amani. Give your authority and power. Bible yegamba Naba obuyinza Kundwate Kumunafu Kunjabe zobu sagwa Okubiri nyirira no pimara mu amani Kama chamina Olunakure na soko gobo muzimu natia One day the first day I chased a demon I feared Kamba buli la boluganda temuyinza kuntegera. We don't understand me today. We gaba malala kwolo we nagafuna. If it is blind I contracted it that day. Kubana rabanga musumba mu church ngabale to mtu natandiko kujira bwati ngolu lagala. Nga sembera yote jinyingira. Atemine mbeje da batu gama ngagwa ya samiri de jigenda kuita mukamwa. Kati ngabwe baba bago mu muzimu weku niza bo. Jita mukamwa, jita munyinde ze mireguro jole gura bavu manga. Naga sogo kanura saba saba jina makuita monyindo na mas no zibiri zoto baji la bodo ya galona bebe gugenda wakaloko kumwa kanga gumu goli na tani kukuba sama na na ya ula minga mbaba na basaja bali na magi kichi abo luganda oruari orugama nchi otio yo mukatundu kewa fe musoke zoni na tete in our place musoke zoni mchala ba wane yali wano mchala ba wana Tata wewe ya vera anga neighbor wafi Mchikomere chidako Omana na kubibwe chimbe Katinga bama nyi mchala mpungu Na ave nyumba ebe balokole Baba mbeti neba jene wafi ni magamba Mulokole mjiba nangu mwana hafa Mjiru na lumberu ganda Tenno nga basoga Lumberu ganda Aba soga mjoga Lululuba lumberu soga Baba tuka kurumbe Aba nankole balu italu ganda Teri ya galu no rumbero nyankole Kakati tuwa duka mchala mpungu Atena ya mkuru kunze Na efe natu ya nkano mkuru Haranga furumabu wacha nono rukwe ya sive Fe natu tia yo kawisa jangu tulinde Na haranga agenda No mita kugenda kwa jiro ugenda Kama loku nana gundi ya ngeni Siku wanga jimu hii ingila vya batu gamba Kati natu kawari nga kewari optioni Kewari mukisa Pasta abela hiri rungu jawa laburange Aba wele zabala tewali nomu Orumbe lukumi omuli roba nange Tukendo tukango mwana ringa kumira mwati Holu watu lemana abuza Mwaka la chimwe Nenti abanobu nabu 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 tuwe kari sizako Nengamba wenzira yendi mabana agamba chi Che mbana nge nkoze sachiri cheba gamba kuchaki Kwa nalaba ngaba gamba In the name of Jesus Nga manyite mizimu jidu karuzungu Nange we nadja sayo gila Luganda Ebi la lanjabi sabah Luganda Na yo kuntuka kujigende wan Ninaga minene name of Jesus Katondo na inechi sa Olu aleto omukono wenti Omu wana yaba kubie kubie dengo Eze wa musibisa za kutura Ngari ngari koli joni Olu ayo gila inene nga musumba kwa chikola In the name of Na kugenda kukubasa mana empare na erabika Nenga amba kawesa nga nzitoa Gamba concha amina Kamba budi demu abalo kola abali wano Let me tell you born again who are here Nanonya angabudi wali muzimu kwa namba ngarage Nanonya angabudi mandu wa webera Wherever mandu was are Fetu agenda anga masabo neba tutuare ndi ima Na inga chetunonya tuwa gara mizimu ejirio Na tegera nange jimpulira Uliriza Mwamanyiru wachiji kuulira You know why they hear you 
Mumurembe guafe. In this season of ours, then I'm a foot of gobe mizimu. This anointing to chase demons. Then I'll take you to Aga. Then I'll bring you to Aga. We don't need this. We need the name of Jesus. 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 We in the name of Jesus. That demon shall go. And what does it do? Come. The demon shall run away. 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 The demon shall Then the kubem is the name of Samuel. Then the kubama yembe. Your commission to go. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We all bear the same burden. We all bear the same authority. We are more than able in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The question. You said you are going to smear us with oil. Why? That you are telling me. We need the name Jesus. We no longer need the anointing oil. But in the New Testament, the Bible talks about the anointing oil. In James, chapter five. You can write it down. James chapter five. Verse one. Verse one. Fourteen and fifteen. I na Bible it somere. If you have the Bible, you can read for last. I na Bible in God. E kuri kumpi o manyok somoru ganda nyamba. Oba kare kan somere. James 5.14 If you are not ready to read, I just want to read for you. Is anyone among you sick? You should call for the elders of the church and they should pray for him. Over him, after anointing him with olive oil in the name of the Lord, the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Now I want to. Now I want to conclude by teaching something here. Not every sickness is that we shall anoint you. But there are certain seasons. It just in the same way that James says. In this case, God spoke to me to anoint your people. But in most cases, if you see something in your home, for instance, the father of the house, the mother of the house, the children, there are queer things that are happening. Mwana boda boda ya mutomedi. Yeah, the son was knocked by a boda boda. Mwana mchali kuboda boda mwana anagwa mutoi. Then you find another one falling in a toy. Mwana mchali mengo mutu to wa toye ya gude mukabu yonjo. Then you find some. Mwana mchali ya kadia mvude ya nyumbe kuto mwuriro. It has got on fire. The house of God on fire. Mwana mchali ya nababa gamba nari kusomere na mugongo. Mwana mchali ya kadia mvude ya nyumbe kuto mwuriro. Mwana mchali ya kadia mvude ya nyumbe kuto mwuriro. 
Satan, such queer things happening. When you see certain things happening in your life, do you know what you have to do? To come to the church elders. Because that has gone beyond. Come and share with the elderly team. The church elders are the pastors of the church. Today we have you. Hey, today we separate them a bit. Hey, the elder is a pastor. That's why we call it a pastoral team here. Pastoral team. Pastoral team. Pastoral team. Pastoral team. They are elders. They are pastors. They are departmental leaders. And departmental leaders. Government that is the government of here. Government now the government we agree with. That is what God honors. Now what you did. If you see such things happening. Come to the church leadership. Find the pastor friend. They tell him what you're going to do. Pastor Fred. And then Pastor Fred. You will talk to his elders. And they make a team. They will come with an anointing oil. They every one member of your family. Before anointing them. They will lead you into a prayer of repentance. Because most of such a things. They do happen. When there is an open. In your life, whenever you have an opening in your life, you access the demon is an access. Even that the, 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 the bewitcher can bewitch you. When you open up your heart, Bible says, when the devil leaves someone and goes somewhere, it doesn't go completely. It keeps you somewhere. Keeping every time. Watches to see whether the house is empty. Whether the house is, is swept. When you see there is nothing there. It is in First Corinthians, remember. Five, seventeen to twenty. It says, Don't you know that you are a temple of the Lord? And the Spirit of the Lord dwells in you. Now when you begin. You start contrary. contrary. The spirit of the Lord gets away. Your house begins to be empty. Now this demon that left he is fighting for its house. People can fight for their own land. Ten to fifty, they even go to court. Hey, why don't the demon fight for its own house? You accepted Christ yesterday. Taken twenty-five years in you. You chase it from its house where it is even having a, a land title. A land title. It is coming back now. It goes to court. It goes now, when he sees the house is empty, the, house, the door is open, open because of the door, open because of the door, open because of the door, open because you take a house, you're born again, you take cigarettes, you're born again, you go to the door, 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 you go to the it doesn't enter. Gugenda. It goes. It is the neighbors. When I go alone, we just let us go and get him. When he goes, it comes with seven. If you leave it, hundred that you leave. They all come back. They enter. Now the after the last time of that person. Bible is going to be worse than the beginning. Now. What we do here. When we see such things. The children are sick. Landlord is saying you please leave. 
ogenda okutuka ku mulimunga mukama wagamant twasaze kaba kozi gagwegwe bagobye ogenda okulira etakaliye wa mwecha mulibwa ababbi abafere bali tutte ngabuli chintu chona chitabuse ebintu ebifana na bityo like things or just straight go about it straight you just come straight. No Jerry ever soon. You come to pastors. Abakadebe Kanisa. Elders of church. To Balimba Chintuchona. Do not lie to them of anything. Bagambo Bramgo and Geburumbi Dua. Tell him my life has been. Nayechi Vakunze. It begins from me. Nakula Waru Taro and neighbor. I opened up a, a fight with Ni my neighbor. Nina Senga Wanga Gwena Chawa. I I miss all my. Nina Chintuchemba Den Tamburi Ramu. I've been moving all over with something. Abakadeba Korebi to be very. They do two things. Number one. It Kisoka. They anoint you. Bagenda kusiga mafuta. Number two. Kikyo kubiri. They lead you into a sinner's prayer. Bagenda kutuwa la musala yoko enenya. And once you repent genuinely. Kikyo nata andiko kwenenye biyatala. No umutimo ukuwa mazima. With your true heart. You power your everything to Jesus. You are the meat. No kiriza. You acknowledge your sins. No kiriza darantina yonona. The Bible says. Bible yegamba. The Lord will heal. Kama na ulira. No. Number one. He will forgive your sin. Number two, He will heal all your diseases. And then things will go well with you. For the Lord. Now, the purpose of this anointing. We anoint it on somebody. Not anyhow. But we do a prayer of agreement. Prayer of agreement. All pastors come here. All elders, all elders, all All people come here. All people come here. Now these are the elders. These are the ones that have invited them. Oh, it is these ones God has told us to anoint. Before we anoint on their four faces, we first agree. We speak and exchange words. We don't just pour the anointing. We must know why. What's going on in your house? What's going on in your life? What has gone on in your life? What sin, hidden sin? What are you hiding? If they are ready to confess, enough is enough. I can't allow the enemy to go on playing games. You share your life with the elder. Now, when they anoint you, they begin to pray. Them and you. You repent and they repent on your behalf. They cry to God. Forgive this man. Don't kill him. Don't cause disease in his house. Don't bring calamity. Don't allow the enemy. We in agreement today. The Bible says Bible that the prayer of agreement worketh more. Hallelujah. That is the purpose of anointing oil. Oh, when you accepted in agreement, it's I no longer able. But there are certain doors that were open. We are losing peace home and away. We think before the Lord. And you start, being, uh, you start repenting you and the elder. Now, now, now the anointing oil. Just a symbol. It's not the anointing that sets you free. But it's symbolic of the invisible anointing of God. What do we have somebody understanding what we are saying? The anointing oil. 
The anointing oil is symbolic. Rather, it's a symbol representing the invisible anointing. The person you smear the anointing with, you have had a prayer of agreement with you and the elder have accepted. You pour the anointing. Now this person starts believing inside of him. The symbol that is not normal. It is washing away something. It is taking away something. You will see somebody starting to cry. Sorry of his sin. Cry because he's sorry of his sin. He's raising up on his faith because of what he has got. By the time it takes a week, this person comes back with a testimony. But what has he has healed with him by not this anointing. This is just an anointing that represents the other anointing. Let me just give you a last example. If a brother Chimboa they call us and tell us Chimboa is sick, very sick. The sickness of found him in a workshop. They have just carried him. They have taken him at the hospital there. But he is dying off. And they refer him. They tell him, take him to Tubaga. Or in a big hospital. And they write a referral. The ambulance comes. But he hears, he can hear. When you reach Lubaga, when Chimbo is dying off, where they receive visitors from, and the Ibasa will say, in this case, needs a professor specialist. Professor Kagezi, professor Kagezi is there inside. Call him, he can handle this. Now Chimbo, inside of him, he starts to desire this professor. How many of you hear what we are saying? When he gets hold of him, and they take him on a wheelchair. They make him lay in a bedroom. And then one person comes. Sorry. Professor is not around. He has gone. And he said he's coming back. But he said nobody could handle that. The professor only can handle. But when he has gone, when he has gone, when he has gone they bring another Musawo now. A nurse. He comes in his own, she now own pink. He comes with a white pink here. He comes with a white pink here. You know why? Inside him, he has already accepted or believed that the only person that can handle his situation is Professor Kagezi. How many of you hear what we are saying? How many of you just come with your sikat of Nancy? He just continues to being sick. Hey, when the nurse gets off, the, 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 the information comes. The doctor is here. Professor is now here. Hey, the hope comes back now. Professor Kagezi Professor Kagezi reaches. Simon Chimboa. Professor Natanko Kwataku. Nareta machine. Machine and Tanko Dagara. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? 
Bwa gamba mumulete, mumulete intensive care. We wamu tuwala mkalumu. Professor na teka kebi uma, obu tunebuta andiko kaba. Tini, 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 gabu saza. Na gamba, okay, okay, tofu ayo, weba, okay. relax, relax. Na kuteka kurubuto. Na teka wana. Na ajila wana. Na kakati mumule kawa yeba. Na teka yempi sobu hati. Na kuba yempi same. Na wagamba, munone, munda chikangana, mumbu lile china wachiri uo. Na dayo muofisi. Be white da chikana. Professor na de wachimbo wa. Na muita. Simon. Maulido ati yakati. Ida wenja ulo. Maulido ati ya Simon. Masawa mpulida muwe chintu ntu. Na zen ni bubinga mberega. Na yekima wanku teko. Na edagala lirili ya wanku bieri avu mchupa. Na yenge chupa jia mtadeko mazimerele. Tana muwa edagala liya duwa lirili yona. Na yoru wa faith in the professor. Healing begins to take place. Yeo kuhonye zima kuta andiko kujolwa kukirizo kuli mprofesa. Banyaba kiriza ntu wali wabali wadaba unangate wali dagala li anja uro. Kati yeno anointing oilo. Omusaji omukade Yakubo jayo gerako. That is what James is talking about. We mara nengamba nti. There comes the anointing. Receive your healing. Yes, Lord. But if you come Father, I thank you. With a pot and he said, you told me to anoint this man. Lord, you're going to touch him today in a mighty way. Yes, Lord. Ne mi njira gita niko kwega tana marusu Mwana wange Omuruwa doyo Ata andika okuona Na inga wona Because there is a symbol of the invisible Wali waka wone do Aka mafuta agata la vika So Nabwe chitio Therefore Now This is what we are going to do Chino chetu gendo kola for those people with weak hearts, the Lord is going to set you free. It's symbolic of the present anointing in this house. It is here today. This is the sign of it. This is the symbol of the anointing. I'm going to anoint of this oil. If I got hold of you in your family, Katonda agenda kuwa bujulizi muwike mu. God is going to give you a testimony in one week. In just one week. Muwike muweti. Era Sunday ja. Next Sunday. Sunday ja. In next Sunday. Come on Sunday ja. Next Sunday. Njagala wana bujulizi. I need a testimony here. Muwike kuvolwa lero paka Sunday. Just a single week from today. Nangiri nango musajja wa Katonda. As a man of God. Now what will be called the beginning of kutu call where my foot are. The burden is going to broken because of our Lord. Come on Amen. Amen. Kumanga chawa ndi ikibwa. Because it is written. Buwaba wali wamu luwade. If there is a sick among us. Buwaba wali wali nebi sivu. If there is anyone having problems. Haba kadebe kaniswa. Call the elders of church. Ba musiga mafuta. To anoint you with the oil. Bene nye na ye. And they repent together with him. Kato onda jamu sonyiwa. God shall set him free. Awo nye na emi tawana jarina. And he sees and heal his sicknesses. Kato onda agenda kuwa nyoru walero. God is going to heal you today. Muli nyari ha yesu. In Jesus' his name. Yemiri na kumagurugo. Praise him and he fits everyone. Haba kademu luwa. Where are you elders? God gives you the authority. The Bible authorizes you to do it. What you are going to do is one. Just put your mask on the cheek. You are not going to come if long because we have limited space. But now, because the end of the day, we are going to come to you. We are going to come to you. We are going to come to you. We are going to come. We also have a it's a prayer of agreement. We are having a prayer of agreement. Sarah ya kukirizigania. It's a prayer of agreement. E chintu chone cha zenga chikuma zeke mirembe. Whatever came disturbing you. We are agreeing in prayer. Kirizigani zamu kusaba. The Lord number one is gonna hear you. He's gonna forgive you. Agenda kusumulula. Forgive you. Forgive you of your sin. Agenda kuonye chivicho kusonye chivicho. E choko biri. You are gonna be healed totally. Agenda kuone randala. Total healing. O kuone randala. Total deliverance. Today is your day. In the name of Jesus. 
Now this is what you are going to do. Kade imiri lao. Kade jo imiri lao ano. Imiri lao ano. Imiri lao ano. Kade jo imiri lao ano. Mugenenga mwe setinga mwe muti. Uli muntula ini jatebi mu agenda okuyita. Tugenda kukiriza katonda wa Ibrahim. Kwenafe. Weekend. Uli chonechi bade cheteke kukurumba wa church member ya fe. Bafe. Whatever was against us, she shall fail in Jesus' name. This is symbolic of the anointing. Of the anointing that breaks every yoke. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Anyway, chileke tu wali bonde. By the anointing. Jesus breaks the yoke by the anointing as the prophet spoke. Ugenda kola china boruganda. Bagenda kubaba kwa anointing. Ugenda kola chiti chimu. Ugenda kubanga. Olinevi ntubiora ba mubura mubo na ingo gamu kama ntinsonyiwa. Mwchitegende. Just one thing. Don't pray for your healing. Pray for forgiveness. Seba mukama tinsonyiwa olina abantu bewa chawa olina abantu bewa gano kusonyiwa abamu ba family yo abamu bali mu kanisa wano abamu ba neighbor abamu mukola nabo olina ensonga na abantu obuta sonyiwa buzizo kuonyezebwa njagara tukiriziganye buli muntu goli na kechi gambo chiteke kwaluta Kiriza mukama chorua lero nsonyi wa soboro sumururua. Kwa tola bebi nitu bebe bigotana. Tola babuli choko na wechigana. Waliwe nsonga. Uruwa lero tukenda kwene nya. Baku tuka konga tibana kutuka ko. Tandi ko kwene nya. Nibeba malo kwa no intinga. Sigara mumudu ya yo kwene nya. Ebi yo kwenye se wabidekele katonda. Gama ati amen. Waliwa abantu wabachata ambulida mchibi. Mukama andaga omuchalo onyo mwenge oli mu kifo kino Onyo mwenge ogenda mabara no ganga ira Gonya mu church no bera so smart Echo chisibya makago Muchala gwe gwenjogera nawe Tigenda kutira obufumbe banga sidene Mwami wabadde mwesigwa Agenda kweta mwatandiko kutambula Kino che chisemba yo chibinyo Olwecho chole meddeko Mwami ajja kufuru magenda yononeke Jagendo kuchobulu wande wa sirimu Mugenda kuku watanga na hebu mkute Mugenda kule kaba na bo Bera mugezi Uwene nye muda chike Mugambe mukama nisichanda yu mabala Mugotonde yu mabala ni uwene nya Katonda agenda kuma kumutima kwa bao Ajakura ba Ibanga tono Mugula mugonga wachuka Naba ntuwa bala labanji Olina hide ni sin Echibie chikusike Ochi itandi ya dari ingi sin Ochi 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 ma You know you You marach it You fertilize it And you water it Ochi fukiri lechibi icho Na eji oko miya fukiri lechibi icho Ebi zibu chibia yonge ndo kweto olora Musavi iseno tugamba mukama Bio natu biwayo jori Mukama asoka kore nafu Kansame musumba Fred Mugenda kujo tukune mbira yisale yu kwenye nyinda chikanga satu tano Yamani Ndena wakande wakenda tani koku ya mbaba Take a
Tamifu wa mwenge Na yori nevi tume watamiru kuka Nevi tawesa katonda chitibwa Miweyo chari, miweyo chari Etu tuli arero walio kuyaba Walio kusumururo uwarero Walio kusonyuo uwarero Mori nyari ya yeso kuso mwano wa katonda umuna Tani kukoge na mwano kore Tani kukoge na nekatonda Sagara kuzikirira Emirimu 
Morinaria Yes, Morinaria Yes, Jesus, Yes, Oh, 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 